Alberto Madakin taking on Jonathan Perez. You okay, uh, Ro? I got my doc with me. We're okay, okay. Madakin trained by Robert Garcia. I can go ahead whenever. You know, and Jonathan Perez actually has a lot of experience. He said he was uh, 200 in the amateurs. He was 200 wins with four losses and a six-time national champion. So this should be a good one. Well, this is round one. Madakin in the black trunks, the red trim. Perez in the white trunks. You know, Mar Marroquin starting out aggressive, you know, going right after uh, Perez. You know, I like what I'm seeing, you know. He's starting off with a jab. Madakin again. Trained by Robert Gar Garcia. This is their first fight together. They started working together back in March. But madakini has been out of the ring since May of last year. He's popping the jab here in round one. You know, and Jonathan, uh, yeah, Perez wants to use a lot of head movement because, you know, Marroquin is a taller fighter. He's throwing the jab off already, so he wants to move his head so he doesn't give him a target to hit. Perez said he's very familiar with Marroquin. In fact, he said, I've, I've watched him fight a lot. Felt like he said, like, I think he, he makes a lot of mistakes I can capitalize on in this fight. Good right hand. Yeah, right hand there by Mata King. <laughs> Mata King is starting out right. You know, he's using his distance, using his jab. You know, he caught him with two big right hands. Because Mata King has not been basically out of the ring for about a year, he said, I want to be very busy this year. There's a left hook there by Perez. Mata King comes back with a combination, ended it with a left hook to the body. Says his plans is to fight on the undercard of the Mikey Garcia, Adrian Broner fight after this one. <laughs> Under a minute now here in round one. Well, you know, what Perez wants to do, he wants to put a little bit more pressure. You know, he's letting uh, Marroquin get a little bit too comfortable and keeping that distance. And Marroquin is actually dictating the pace right now. Mata Keen, in fact, Stop. My break. My break. My break. bought Guillermo Rigandau in 2012, <laughs> lost a unanimous decision to him. Suéltalo. Suéltalo. Stop. Stop. My break. Cuidado. No haces eso, okay? Bye. Here comes the final seconds Stop punching. Break back. Step back. of round one. And it was a good first round for Mata Keen. I give him that round. Hi. And what Marukin wants to keep doing, you know, keep the same distance, keep the same uh, jab in, uh, in Perez's face. You know, he had a he had a great first round. And what he wants to do is he wants to transition the same thing he did from the first round to the second round. Used a couple feints. You know, I would like to see Perez do a little bit more body work. You know, maybe throw a left hook or a right hook to the body. You know, he can't really seem to hit the head right now, so go down to the body. Here's a right hand. I'm out of key. Short uppercut. Minute gone here in round two. You know, Marroquin is boxing him beautifully this round again. You know, he's, uh, he's using his distance, uh, working the ring perfectly, and he uh, has another great round. So far. Just missed with that right hand. Counter left hook by Perez. Stop punching. There's a left.
left hand by Mata King. You know, Perez has to take a little bit more chances himself. You know, he's only throwing one shot every time Marroquin comes in. So he, has to, he wants to throw like there, two, three shots right there. Exactly what he has to do. Stop punching. Stop. Stop. <laughs> Under a minute left here in round two. Perez just actually landed a good step, uh, step back right hand. You know, those are the types of things he has to do to, to beat Marroquin and get him off his game. Thirty seconds. Here's a left hook by Mato King, and now there's a cut. Oh, it's Nasty a cut. cut, yeah, at the top of the head there, Mato King. You can see the blood just flowing from that cut. And it might have opened up even more because Perez just hit him right in that cut. You hear the ref told him that, that came the result of an accidental headbutt. Well, Mato King comes back with some good jabs. Time, tempo. This is Roberto Marroquin taking on Jonathan Perez. It's scheduled for six. We're in round three. Marroquin in those black trunks. Perez in the white trunks. Perez is starting off really aggressive this round. I think the the cut on Marroquin's head might have, you know, uh, uh, motivated him more since he doesn't want it to get stopped by the referees. So he needs to he needs to go and end some rounds. Marroquin loading up with that right hand. You can see that cut. Left side, top of the head, Model King. See, that's exactly what I'm talking about. Throw more than one punch. He threw a right hand, left foot, you know, and uh, yeah, that was really good. Oh, the right hand gets through by Perez. Now Perez now. Yeah, he's ripping him with body shots up yes. and He's really putting it on this round. Going to the body, upstairs, downstairs, upstairs by Perez. And he might think he got Mato King hurt because he jumped on him really, really quick. He's really being really aggressive now. Oh, an uppercut by Perez. Looked like it stumbled Mato King a little bit. <laughs> Good round here by Jonathan Perez. Now here comes Mato King. That was a nice uppercut by Mato King. Another left hook by Perez. Marroquin needs to remember to keep throwing the jab. You know, he's, he's, he's really, uh, he hasn't thrown it that much this round like he did in the first two. So he's going to want to keep throwing it, keep that distance. But Perez, he looked like he, he turned it on on Marroquin this round. He's doing really good. He might have taken the round. Well, under a minute left here in round three, you can see that gash. Top of the head of Mato King. He got that in round two. Another big right hand by Perez. Yeah, quick one, two. Right hand landed. You know, in the spot that, where that cut is at, you know, it might be, blood might be dripping into the eye of Mato King. So that's never too good when you get blood dri dripping into your eye. You know, it blurs your vision. Here comes the final seconds of round three. A good round and a left hook by Perez. No, Perez wants to come out and put pressure exactly how he did the last round. You know, he did really good and maybe just, all I say is put the pressure on again. And maybe, oh, I uh, They say that's a push here. Again, round four, short uppercut by Perez. Combination there by Mato King.
You want to know, I think the, cor the corner of Maruki might have told him to keep uh, get back on that jab because he looks like he's trying to keep his range and throw the jab a little bit more. Comes back with a good combination. Oh, here's a left hook by Perez. Another hook by Perez. That went a right hand. Yeah, and those punches were flush on the jaw. Halfway point of the fight in this round. There's another combination by Mata King. You know, but Perez is answering right back. Yeah. Every time Mata King throws something, Perez comes back right back. Left to the body. Nice exchange there. Oh. And that's it. Roberto Maraquin drops and stops Jonathan Perez here in the fourth round. Yeah, as soon as it looked like Perez was getting comfortable, Maraquin came back with a devastating left hook. End of the night.